Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you how I attained this look. Attained, achieved, I don't know which word was correct to use there, but either one. I just wanted to get into autumn, October vibes and just channel my inner pumpkin child. <laughs> It's a pumpkin child. I just wanted to mess around with some fun fall colors, get into the season, just kick off the the fall time with a, a fun tutorial for you guys. So that's what I did today. So if you want to learn how I got this, just keep on watching. Making your guest appearance. Okay, bye. Is this okay? Does this look okay? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. For primer today, I'm going to be starting off with a Farsali Unicorn Essence. Oh, I just got it in my hair. When I very first tried this primer, I wasn't that impressed, but the more I've used it, the more I've learned that I actually do like it. I think it's a really nice tacky primer, and I do like the way that my foundation looks on top of it. I feel like I just rubbed that in very aggressively. Open a new sponge. I really should have had this done before I started filming. For foundation, I'm just going to be using the Born This Way Too Faced foundation. I am in the shade Pearl. And this is so satisfying. A brand new clean sponge. In real life, it's not a bad match. For concealer today, I'm just using the Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm rushing through my foundation process or I'm not really being in depth about it. I just feel like everyone's foundation routine is their own and no matter what I do, you're gonna keep your same foundation routine. So I feel like people get super bored with <laughs> People explaining how they're applying their foundation, you know, like I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's boring to watch, so I don't really go in depth on it. It's the same all the time. Next, I'm just going to set my face using my Cody Airspun Powder in Translucent. So really, I'm just setting underneath my eyes, um, on my smile lines, as well as my chin, and right on my forehead. Um, I just set there because that's where I get the most creasing, so I'm going to let this sit for a little bit, bake for a couple minutes, and then we're just gonna wipe it all off. It's been a couple minutes, I'm just gonna wipe this bake off. I'm gonna use this flat top brush, and I'm gonna kinda use what's left over here to set the rest of my face. I have very dry skin as it is, so I don't like using a ton of powder on my face, but it is necessary for me to set certain areas because I do crease so badly. So rather than picking up extra powder, I just try to use what's left over from baking and use that to set what's left of my face. Next, I'm moving on to bronzer, and I'm using my Hoola Benefit bronzer. I've been wanting to try other bronzers, so if you have recommendations, please leave them in the comments. I like Hoola, but I really just want to expand my bronzer. I just want to try more bronzers, so if you have recommendations, please leave them in the comments. I feel like my bronzer always gets patchy on my forehead, so I'm just going to blend it out. I am also going to take my Hoola bronzer on a Morphe M562, and I'm just going to lightly contour my nose. So I'm going to contour. I use quotations because I really don't do a lot of contouring. I can't do it very well. It's just not for me. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in medium deep. And I'm really just kind of putting this in the deepest parts of my cheekbone. I'm going to pat that in and then just kind of blend it out. After that, I'm just going to take my same sponge that I applied um, my foundation and powder with. And I'm really just going to cut out my bronzer, clean it up a bit so that it's not so messy because I'm not very precise when it comes to applying my bronzer. <laughs> Next it's going to be blush. This is a Sigma blush in the color Cheeky. Blend it out because that is quite a bit. So I'm using uh, Becca Champagne Pop for highlighter and I'm just going to put this up here. I've been kind of taking it easy on highlighter lately. I feel like 
the heavy highlighter trend is kind of going away so i think i'm ready to move on to eyeshadow which i'm kind of nervous about because i don't really know what i want to do yet the palette i am using today is the tartlet uh toasted palette which is i think the most perfect fall palette you could ever get i'm gonna go in with the color s'more and i'm just gonna pat this on my lid on a morphe m167 um, just so I can kind of give my eyelid a base to blend on. On a Morphe M502, I'm going to take the color Warmth, and I'm just going to start blending this in my crease, and I'm going to slowly just build that up. Now on a Morphe M200, I'm going to take the color Cozy, and I'm going to apply that directly in the crease, and then slowly work that up, obviously not bringing it up as far as that previous color. I'm taking a Morphe E22 and I'm going to take the color Fireside next and I'm just going to start packing this on the outer corner or outer view. I think I'm wanting to use, maybe do a little cut crease going on right here. I really like these formulas. My only concern is that it's really dark. Let me find a different one know what i'm wanting to use i kind of i'm feeling this one i think i'm gonna do this one i could be making a very big mistake right now but whatever so i like using these just on their own so it may be a little messy but that's part of it you know like that's just life oh i'm gonna pull this <laughs> you can't even see what i'm doing over the first third maybe first half of my lid and we're gonna leave it at that don't take i didn't even tell you what shade this is what am i doing so this is the stila this is the stila glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow in burnished sienna i'm happy with my color decision i think that looks good it's still um very dark but um i actually mm, really like it and i also just realized that i haven't done my eyebrows <laughs> I'm just going to take what's left of that color Fireside on that same brush, no extra product, and just kind of blend over that a tad so it's a little bit more seamless now that it's dry. On my Morphe M408, I'm just going to take a combination of the color Warmth and the color Cozy on just that flat brush, and I'm going to start blending this on my lower lash line. On an M562, I'm just going to kind of blend that out just a tad so it's not so harsh i'm gonna wipe off this bake down here i feel like for how intense my eyes are my face isn't that intense but i'm kind of liking it so i feel like i'm gonna go for a bolder lip to kind of make up for it so now that i've realized that i don't have my eyebrows done we're gonna jump back to that so instead of having you watch me do my brows i'm just gonna like hop off for a minute do those and then i'll come back to you so we have eyebrows on foundation eyeshadow everything else is on next i'm going to take a morphe e18 i'm going to take my champagne pop by becca and i'm going to place that on the inner corner of my eye and i'm also going to place that on my brow bone just to you know brighten it up a bit because we do have a lot of dark colors going on right now Okay, so very quickly off camera, I am going to throw on just a little bit of liner, mascara, and lashes. Um, I'll be right back and we'll finish off with a lip. So I think I lied. I don't... <laughs> I didn't put liner on or lashes. I just put on mascara. And I'm actually really liking the way it's looking. I think having just mascara on tones the eye look down just a tad. I don't want to be too... I don't want to be too overwhelming. I think I like the way just the mascara looks. So we're going to leave it at this. Um... Uh, let's apply a lip. I'm making a bold decision. I don't think I'm gonna use a lip liner. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go in with a liquid lip. Okay, this is the Anastasia liquid lip in the color Ashton. It's a really pretty brown, but it's not too dark to where I don't think it's gonna overwhelm the um, eyes. I think it's gonna be pretty, but in the center, I'm gonna apply another Anastasia liquid lip in the color Naked. Am I covering what I'm doing? I am. Oh, 
well, that's not even. I'm very happy with the decisions that I made today. How do we feel? How, 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 <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so I think the last thing I'm gonna do is just apply a mist. I don't, I'm not gonna apply a setting spray. I think I really just want like a glow mist to kind of make everything less matte. Taking the Pixi Glow Mist. Sleep. So that is all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not the best YouTuber in the world, but hey, I showed you how I got this, so I did something. I do have some really exciting videos coming up, and I know I say that in every video, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be posting more often, but I do have some really fun stuff coming, so hopefully I can be a real adult and like stay on my stuff. I do have some fun videos coming, so stay tuned for those. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. So thanks for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. I don't understand. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs>